Today, we'll be taking a look at the highest damage output unit in the game. There is a unit that does so absurd amount of damage that I don't even know. I can't even comprehend the fact that this unit is actually that broken. And crazily enough, guys, nobody is talking about that unit. Now, this unit is an MR, so we're going to head over to the laboratory. You got to go over to Miracle Creation, and we are going to scroll down till we find this version of uh, Luffy, you see, Ruffy Emperor. Now, in order to craft this guy, you actually need to have a bunch of uh, copies of the other Ruffys. I think this is the C1, and this is uh, an R, or maybe you are. Not entirely sure. So you need 10 copies of each, and you actually need to clear 10 stages with both of them. I'm just uh, find them for you real quick. Okay, it's actually an SR and a C. So those are the two units that you need. Just run a story with them. While you have them equipped, just go to the story number one. It takes like one and a half minute or something. Run it 10 times, very nice and easy. And then just a bunch of uh, other materials. Like uh, most of those materials are pretty easy to get. If you AFK crossover overnight, then just a bunch of people fruits, which are also really easy and a bunch of straw hats. So let's go ahead and uh, craft this version of Luffy. I actually never watched One Piece, so I don't know uh, what like part of uh, the anime he is from. But yeah, okay, so apparently we have a green unit right here. Let's go ahead and check him out real quick. So level him up. Unfortunately, I don't have any miracle shards to limit by the guy, but what we can do is we can go ahead and fix his stats just a little bit and then we're gonna check out what's up with this guy. All right, that's pretty good actually, not bad at all. All right, guys, so here we are back at it again. And as you can see, I also brought a whole bunch of stuff from Toku's army to furthermore buff this Luffy and actually show you how broken this unit can actually become with proper synergies. So obviously the unit that you need to bring and the unit that has to be leader is gonna be Shanks because he gives this new era buff to Luffy. It just makes him absolutely broken on top of the leader buff. And we brought Ado here to just buff the unit a little bit more. And I just brought a range buff for a lot of reasons. Didn't really need to. So you see, unit is straight off the bat started with 16.77k damage, which is a lot. Now, he starts off as a stun unit, which is not that bad, I guess, uh, when you're like just dropping units down. So, and we're gonna start upgrading him. So you see, upgrade four does actually switch him over to a line unit, and he also becomes flame instead of the stun. And we keep on going with the upgrades. So you see upgrade seven, again, unit completely changes and he becomes a race attack. And that's kind of where the unit like starts picking off. See 180k damage and race attack. For those of you that don't know what race attack is, it can increase your uh, damage output by plus 150%. And yeah, we keep upgrading. You see, we become finally a circular UA unit. Range is pretty enormous, 142 yards. I mean, obviously we have Merlin here with range, but yeah, a circular UA. 142 range, 360k damage, and that is completely disregarding the race attack mechanic. 143k, you see here, 867k, and next move, move we have Red Rock AoE, an upgrade 13, and yeah, you see the unit at this point just becomes full AoE, which is kinda crazy. Now, the next upgrade, as you can see, it only just provides four range, it doesn't really provide anything else. But we're not gonna do that uh, upgrade for now because the reason for that is that Ray's attack is actually gone after this. So what you wanna do is you wanna just upgrade this unit up until this point where he has this uh, Ray's attack buff still. So let's just like start spawning in some units with 500k, I guess. Just put a 500k HP so the summons don't really kill them off. And you see like his damage is just gonna like slowly, slowly, slowly start ramping up now i'm not really gonna do this thing where i just stack off completely the race attack i'll just show you guys how his damage actually ends up like turning into i'll show you some pictures from like actual um runs where you can just use the unit and the results are gonna be completely stupid now we also have auto where we haven't even like pressed this buff so you see popping with auto we're already up at four million per hit and yeah like this race attack will keep on going up and up and up but we're just gonna completely disregard it as i said for this and you see here his last upgrade actually bumps him up to 159 range and you see perfect placement right here he does actually cover literally perfect pin perfect on the spawn and you see the unit actually became a superpower so not only that his damage is actually tripled right now which is completely bonkers and as you guys can see right here in this picture this is how his damage actually looked like in a run where he has stuck off his damage to a 
pretty decent point, like a pretty decent like damage buff, and you also have the 10% buffs from infinites, and that's kind of how strong the unit can be. Like, it's an absurd amount of damage, 26.31 million per hit. And another thing that you guys probably disregarded in this particular scenario is the superpower ability. So, if you do this times three, that is around 80 million damage per hit. Now, considering it's 50% chance to actually do this 3x damage, we can just cut it down to 40 million per hit average, right? So that should be your average, like 40 million per hit, which is, I don't know, it's just ridiculous amount of damage. Like even Mahoraga, like fully summoned a Mahoraga with a Megumi Domain and a lot of like summon damage upgrades doesn't even get that high. And the best part is, this guy is fully OE, that covers the entire map, like 159 range, obviously with Merlin, which you will be bringing anyway if you're playing with other people on Infinites or Orbrands or whatever you're trying to get done. Like 40 million average damage per hit with 60 range, full AoE. The unit is just atrocious. And yeah, like if you saw the picture, 390 billion total damage done. So you kind of get the point how broken that unit is. I don't think anybody has probably seen such high amount of damage coming out from one unit. Now, obviously, he's a single unit placement. Like you, you cannot really... Wait, is he not? Yeah, apparently he's not a single unit. Oh, never mind. He is a single unit placement. I just didn't place that mine. But yeah, like this damage is completely ridiculous. I don't think any other unit comes close to this guy's damage. If there is any other units that you guys think that can actually rival his damage, feel free to let me know down below in the comments. But yeah, like this is completely stupid. Like 40 million average hit. Mm, average damage per hit is just completely insane and yeah like those one piece units are extremely broken like shanks i i believe that shanks needs uh his own like video just to talk about him like how good shanks is uh he's a must-have support unit and actually since a lot of people have started playing the game you probably know are aware that at this point you in this game you actually can skip the story so you don't really have to go and manually spend hours and hours to grind every single story you can do this thing that we call story skip but obviously it's really hard and funnily enough you cannot actually do last map story skip unless you have shanks like shanks is a must have because it's the only unit that does like reliably like stun everything and does pretty decent damage and his active as you can see is also pretty damn good like complete nine second like stun and it also does like 2.5 million damage which is not bad at all per hit and it's only 45 minute cooldown so like every 45 seconds you have a nine second stun and that's you see like each shanks has its own remote cooldown so if you just like cycle through them you have like 27 seconds of stun every 45 seconds uh, it is kind of disgusting, like how good that unit is, but yeah, that unit is for another video. And the synergy between those two units is one of the strongest, like, duos in the game. There's a couple of other, like, really strong uh, synergies, like S-Death with uh, Freeze units, in case you guys have heard about that. It's another really, really, really strong unit. But yeah, Shanks plus Luffy is one hell of a combination. And yeah, you guys see the damage output is, like, insane, like, 40 million average hit for a full AOE unit with pretty much range that covers the entire map is completely ridiculous and I actually don't know if there is a better unit but yeah that's pretty much it guys I hope you guys have enjoyed the video it's really not that hard to get this uh, MR Luffy evolving chunks might be a little bit more troublesome you need to do a lot of damage done but yeah that's pretty much it I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed it regardless and I'll see you guys in the next one peace